Divi and her Jack Russell Scooby Doo to ask a few questions about the charity pets and therapy. Why did you? Why did you want to become a Um, it started very, very many years ago. I just happened to have a very nice, calm, friendly dog, um, and was looking for something to do volunteer-wise. So I joined, and that was 15 years ago. So all of my dogs since then, I've been very proud to say I've been pet dogs. What do you, the dogs have to go in any kind of tests yes. to, to qualify yes. them for? Um, all of the dogs, when they when they are of an age, they have to be at least nine months old. They go through an assessment done by our own assessors, and that checks that they are calm, friendly, and do like people, but they're not adversely worried by noises such as planes. Pet dogs do tend to be really special because they do put up with an awful lot, especially some of them that are maybe doing things like special needs children. They really do hug really hard. Um, they do give a lot of love, but the dogs have to be able to take that. So what fundraising does the charity do and how successful is it? Um, most of the fundraising we do is done by our very generous volunteers. They will attend dog shows and fates um, and they will do collections. We have volunteers that go around to schools and um, adult groups and give talks. Um, I'm going to, um, this weekend I was up at Discover Dogs at Earl's Court um, and we had some collection tins there which we were able to collect some funds. So generally it's, it's donations and people will give us gifts for services. If you win the £3,000, um, what benefit will it be to the charity? For the charity, it would, do it, it would be an enormous benefit to us. We are completely self-funded. We don't get any um, funding for this work. So we do a lot of fundraising. It will enable us to keep these and many other dogs visiting and helping people with their stroke rehabilitation, brain injury rehab, putting more of these dogs in the schools to help the children. Um, and just enhancing people's lives in general. What is the um, history of the charity? How did the actual charity start? The charity, we are actually in our 30th year this wow. year, 30 years. And it was started by a lady by the name of Leslie Scott Aldish, who found herself in precisely that situation. She had dogs, which she loved dearly. She found herself in the situation where she had to be in hospital long term and could see that so many people they miss their pets so much and it you know you, if you're in hospital a long time you can get really down and they found that the encouragement of having the pets in really lifted people's spirits and it does speed their recovery so she started it as with the idea of the fact that she was missing her own pets and started it up how many individuals will directly benefit from this charity? Oh, how can you... <laughs> it's so difficult to say. We, we have, as I said, just over 5,000 dogs, but we do have about 100 cats. Between us, we visit in excess of a quarter of a million people every week. What can people at home do to help? Um, well, I could urge them that if they have a dog and, that, and they would like to give time in a very, very good way to help other people in the local area, consider becoming a volunteer. Um, alternatively, we are always looking for help for fundraising, to help with events. So anything that they would like to do. What um, projects have you done recently? Well, I'd say our most recent project that we started has been the Read to Dogs. That's been going for about 18 months now. Um, and has been hugely successful. We've currently got 250 primary and infant schools each seeing a dog every week for a reading class, and that is continuously growing. But he does does do a lot of work. We work at one of the big major London hospitals, um, helping young people that have had um, severe problems in their lives, and we help them recover. And Scooby goes up there, and he's just a nice, friendly ear that they can talk to.